Right, here. All right, so first things first, name and title. Uh, Sean Osterbrink, I'm the director of Parks and Recreation for the Village of Weston. And forestry as well. Right? Correct. Don't forget about the trees. Yeah. Uh, we talked about that a little tonight, but we're uh, we're more talking about the uh, the athletic complex feasibility study and uh, just kind of give us again some of the background on this because I know there's actually is correct me if I'm wrong is there actually two aspects of this one for the village and one for the county are they considered one or are they separate? Uh, we're doing we're doing just one for the sports complex. Okay. So um, we have a sign agreement with fixed advisors out of. Uh, Utah and they're coming to town in December to basically meet with key stakeholders or user groups for the facility. So what would what would that entail then? Like a baseball, baseball softball. softball for the whole area because we're it's more of a regional complex than just a village of Weston complex. We propose this will be great for the region not to obviously just for the village so um, we've included you know WAS area groups Everest area groups, um, basically baseball, softball. We've included even like contacts for um, like the Woodchucks baseball because they may have a need for practice facilities or anything like that. We don't know. So uh, that's the part of the feasibility study where they will be looking into stuff like this. So then when you say regionally, I mean, how far out do you see this going? I mean, would Marathon City, um, you know, other areas to the east, uh, Burnham Wood, Wittenberg, would they, be, you know, maybe be involved or be able to benefit from this complex as well? It's possible. I mean, there's a lot of uh, obviously unknowns, and that's why we're doing a feasibility study. Um, besides being, a, you know, something that could serve the, the area, there's probably multiple uses for it. So it could be used for weekend tournaments where you could draw people from, you know, 100 mile radius, you know, because pe people do travel for tournaments all the time. Uh, but it also serve as use for like recreation leagues during the week. So um, we're hoping that this study will provide us with the details on, you know, will it serve that need that's out there right now. So then and when you get these stakeholders together, um, I believe it's December 11th or thereabouts, I mean, what are you hoping to, to hear from them then? Well, they'll be meeting with are with Victus themselves. We won't be meeting with them. So they'll be doing individual meetings with these key user groups or stakeholders. And then <clears throat> I guess they're trying to get background information on if there's a need out there from these groups. Um, probably facts and figures on how many people they have in their programs, you know, how many fields they're using, stuff like that. See if there's <clears throat> what kind of information's out there as far as what, if there's a need. And then uh, you, you talk about the uh, the study itself then because you're um, it's going to be conducted over I'm guessing several months and then this is just going to be one aspect then of whether the village will move forward with uh, you know breaking ground on this so we're, we're not talking about something that's going to be a few years down the road this is something that could be a little further correct yeah I mean this study is basically going to tell us if this is feasibility does it does it make sense to do this will it will it uh, you know do what needs to be done for the area or if it's just going to be uh you know it'll tell us if we shouldn't do it mm -hmm. so that's the idea is to you know and it, it could give us the location it'll give us the um financial analysis and other things involved in that study absolutely and then uh talk about you know the size and scope of the project right now because obviously that's a moving target right now you don't know just exactly how many fields or how much area this would encompass but ideally what would you like to see out of this uh, facility proposed facility well um that's what the feasibility study will also determine is how many fields would be reasonable to do we don't you know if it will even be a we're focusing on baseball softball but there could be other uses that are better for that facility you know we also want to, them to say, well, is there a site out there that's available in the whole metropolitan area that would be an ideal site for that? If, the, if it would be, um, you know, a recommendation or what comes out of that study, if it would to move forward with something like this. So, I mean, there's a lot of moving pieces on there. They'll help uh, give us potential fundraising options also within the study so mm -hmm. you know because we know that just because the study says we should do it doesn't mean that it can it's financially viable for yeah. it to be done in a short amount of time so um, there's a lot of things that they are doing in the study that should uh, 
point us in the right direction or tell us that this is doesn't make sense to move forward with. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else that we should know about the, about this project then before we let you go? I mean, is it possible that you could aim for maybe lacrosse or soccer as well at some of these facilities? I mean, obviously baseball and softball is kind of the one you're focusing on. Yeah, and we did give them context for basically all the youth, potential user groups in the area. So from soccer to hockey to rugby to lacrosse to basically youth basketball, every sport that's out there because there, <clears throat> there is the potential that you know, we're focusing in on something that might not be the primary user of it because mm -hmm. um, other areas they focus more on multi-purpose where they can use baseball and then they can do other sports, you know, in open green areas. So um, this study is out there. So we help us determine if there's a viable use for a complex like that. So Anything else we should know then before we let you go? I don't think so. Hopefully we'll see the results. Um, you know, in the 10 to 12 week timeline that uh, they proposed. And uh, we should have something in spring that will help us decide, you know, what direction we're gonna go at that point.